as a definition of refit is what you might imagine, which is to see shirts that join together have previously been a whole pot. And what, what we're trying to do is find these shirts and rise up out of these shirts, raise up these pots themselves and watch the seams come together. So you can see this example there. So we can see this fits very nicely. And what we then do is sort of take down that center so it holds together. But I'm sure you can see the challenge, which is finding these individual shirts amongst this. And that's why we like to focus on these identifiable bits. I mean, this, for example, it was quite a nice one to refit because you know, if you can tell from this angle, the shirts are actually really large, which is helpful. Um, so you can see here, it looks really impressive from this side. And then from this side, we can see that there's quite a lot missing. And so at the moment, I'm working my way through this pile of shirts, trying to fit them. Um, and unfortunately, at the moment, not with too much success um, because we're trying to fit them in certain angles, which shirt might fit there. And so far, these don't seem to fit. What's frustrating, particularly with this vessel, is as you can see, there's a completely partial rim here. I have another rim shirt here. We've just, this is certainly part of this vessel but it must float here somewhere. So I'm trying to find the rest of it, but so far that's missing. So that raises quite a lot of interesting questions in terms of where is the rest of that rim? What's happened to it? Um, and so they're the sort of questions that we're gonna to start to ask when we've got more of a hold on how many refits are possible. What we're looking for initially in a shirt is something that means that we can identify an individual vessel. So I'm really interested in what we call feature shirts, which are the rim shirt, or then here we've got base shirts. And obviously, as you would do a jigsaw puzzle, you want to do the edges before you start thinking about the centre, before you start thinking about the body. Because as you can see, there are so many shirts here, and when we've got shirts, this sort of size, it starts to get really difficult. So what we want to be focusing on is identifiable features like the rim and the base that we can bring together and we can start to see how the vessel form is and what maybe what variety in fabrics, which is an issue with pottery of this period because the same vessel can almost have three different fabrics represented. So it's not always that easy to know which shirt goes from which. So it, it can be a bit uh, frustrating, I think is fair to say at times. I mean, what is a not notable element to this assemblage is how fresh some of the breaks are. And I think that's the nature of must far. But rather than something that's happened in the excavation, this is an example of something that perhaps happened a long time ago, maybe actually was broken before the fire itself at must far is this shirt. So you can see here, it's not as fresh as the rest of these breaks, because we've been desperately trying to refit this lovely little pot. Um, but because having a closer look at it, it doesn't look as fresh as the rest of this. So we think we're probably not going to find the rest of these shirts, showing that there is different breakage histories. And why that's interesting is we're thinking about what was used, how often vessels were broken and what happened to them when they broke as well. Ideally, we want to have these complete, but what's interesting is those that aren't complete, that's when we can start asking questions about what happened to the vessel. Um, in some sense, it's history, really, before um, it was broken, how it was used, and also how it was broken. These are questions that we can ask. And these are questions that are generally quite hard to answer in any other assemblage, particularly with the fine wear. Um, pots and we can see quite a few nice examples here is that the effect that the fires had upon the burnishing which is this gradual rubbing of an object such as a stone on the surface to cre create a really lovely shiny surface in the heat of that fire it seems to have transformed and so what we're not only are we seeing that but you can see in something like here there's obviously a difference as a contrast in the vessel that's making refitting hard and sometimes we're surprised when shirts do refit together because they look very different. <laughs>